AAA has designated Route 210 in Prince George's County the deadliest road in the state. 91 lives have been lost since 2007. But efforts to punish super speeders and repeat offenders have failed in the state house. This group of activists and lawmakers is planning to try again this session. Everyone uses Route 210 and the fact that we have a state highway that is known as the highway of death is obviously not something we would like in our backyards. Any driver who gets a speed camera ticket in Maryland gets a $40 fine. Some say that's not enough for those who are driving excessive speeds and consistently breaking traffic laws. Supporters are once again pushing super speeder legislation. Additional fines would increase from 90 to $530, depending on how fast you're going. Repeat offenders who get multiple tickets in a two year period would be hit with additional fines from $50 to $350. We want to hit these people in their, in their pockets, in, in their, their purses, in their wallets. The legislation failed the last two sessions. Critics have argued the fines amount to a tax on drivers and the additional penalties are excessive. Supporters say something needs to be done to change behavior. According to speed camera data collected from August through October, 204 drivers were going more than 100 miles per hour. 170 miles per hour was the highest speed. I think we can all agree it is not a commuter tax. It is a citation for those who offend. Dozens of people turned out for the news conference announcing the new push to change the law. Supporters are hoping they'll be able to get it passed and save lives. Prince George's County Police say they're doing what they can to make 210 safer. They've given out 2,500 tickets and warnings here so far this year. In Fort Washington, Darcy Spencer, News 4. Now this legislation will be reintroduced at the next session that starts in January.